Okay, my final video today is this little middle island. Again, this will be a winter project when everything has died back. Again, this kind of evolved. This was not, I only had a few pots here at the beginning of the year and then I got the idea, you know, to kind of bunch everything up and make my container garden. So what we want to do now, you know, when everything's not so heavy and bushy is to um, go back just like I'm doing the other areas and cardboard, tarp, and mulch. Uh, I probably, I don't know if I'll do pine straw here or some more of the cypress uh, chips. We'll see. Um, but this area is probably not gonna change a whole lot. Again, there have been a few, few things I'll do differently. Um, I need to get something to hang on my little um, shepherd's hook there. I never did do that. Um, but I've got my Carolina Cypress here. It actually seems happy here, but I would like to put it someplace where people can see it a little bit better. So I haven't decided the Japanese maple is going to go over there. Um, so we're still kind of sorting that out. This was my first Bobo Hydrangea from Home Depot earlier this year. Um, it is uh, reloading and starting to thrive a little bit. So, um, you know, hopefully that's going to look better. Um, again, we've got the, some, a little bit more junk that needs to be hauled off in this area. It looks terrible right now. We're going to have the post stained in the fall, the paint touched up, um, and then get rid of the uh, picnic table that is um, ready for picnic table heaven. So pardon our trash in progress. It will look better once the junk people come in another week or two and then in the fall when we get more things done. Um, Oh, but this area here, just I just want you to kind of know that that's in the backdrop. And again, I mentioned in the last video, we kind of want to tarp and mulch this in a little bit too. Um, because it's going to mulch itself with leaves come fall. But just, you know, try to kind of make that a little bit more, I don't know if formal is the word, but dress it up a little bit, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And this would be a really nice area also to add in the banana elysiums and... Whatever the other plant is that I ordered that's for shade, um, I'll have to go back and see what it's called, but it was recommended by SNK Greenhouse in North Carolina. Um, I think that would kind of look nice on the side. Um, maybe even some more hydrangeas, we'll see. But anyway, because um, some of them seem to like shade and some don't. Um, again, I'm learning. But uh, as you can see, my uh, Miss Molly butterfly bush, my Blue, For Blue Fortune loves being over here. Um, it is just like, this is the second or third year I've had Blue Fortune here, and it's, like, wild. Um, this, I ended up repotting. I had some sunflowers from Lowe's. It was not good. Um, I think it was part, the plant quality was not good, but also this is some of the yuck dirt that I mentioned. I'm probably going to end up, again, having to add soil conditioner or just repot this completely. I don't know, but I've got some Blue Fortune. I just added some pink perfusion salvia, which seems to be struggling right now, but we'll see. Even my queen nectarine, things that normally grow vigorous, like the queen nectarine and the blue fortune, that's how I know the dirt is an issue. Um, because they're struggling and they normally like go crazy for me. So, um, yeah. In hindsight, um, I will make sure to not ever, you know, use that. And it was supposed to be organic. Um, I don't know. I don't know if any of you who do container gardens have had struggles with that too, getting good, you know, container potting soil, um, you know, that works for your plants. Um, but anyway, um, this is, I think, Queen Marguerite. This is an English rose. Uh, I love her. She's, you know, kind of moody, but when she blooms, she's gorgeous. There's also a teasing Georgia in there. Sp again, spring and fall. <laughs> Summer is really rough on English roses here in Georgia, and I, I love them. They're, I just, I love them, but I think moving forward, I'm just not going to get any more because I want things that are going to look good throughout the whole summer. And these I love enough, I can tolerate it, but I don't want that to be my whole garden. Um, but anyway, um, I'm looking for better things from this for next year. You know, it, it, it's not its fault that the dirt was cruddy. Um, but again, I'm feeding them now to at least patch them through and then we're going to add some soil conditioner and hopefully that'll help. Um, the Miss Molly butterfly bush is doing really well here. Originally she was on the side yard and then I had her 
over there. Um, she seems to really like it here. So we have that, another Pugster. Um, let's see which one is this. I just I got three of them. This is the Pugster Pinker. So um, we'll see. It seems to be happy here. Another wildfire patch that I've got some of my porch that are a back deck. They're doing great. They have not done well out here. And again, I don't know if it's because of the yuck dirt or what what's going on or bad seed. But um, I I have not. I've done wildfires for a few years now, and I always had a lot of luck up until last year and this year. And I don't know what what is different, um, but it's been kind of frustrating. Um, Again, I think the dirt could be part of this, but it's not all of it because I have other patches I've done with other dirt and it's been the same thing. So, it maybe it's just a bad batch of seed. Um, I've got this I got from Home Depot. It's trying to reload um, along with this one. Um, this is another petunias. I normally have no problems. They, I've struggled with them this year. Um, but it could be these varieties. I, I don't know. But again, we also had a lot of cloudy, wet weather in July, and that did not help. Um, speaking of wildflowers, okay, I guess I planted these last summer, um, and they didn't bloom until now. But look at them go. Um, this was definitely, I'm pretty sure, Vermont Wildflower Company, I think. I'm pretty sure. Which, again, I had really good luck until last year. But these, they, ne they didn't do anything last year. And I planted them early, so I guess maybe they had to be established for a year, but um, they, this is another favorite. Uh, I mean, just look at that. And then there's the Chinese forget-me-not that's come up in it. I, I don't remember that being in the mix, but there it is. It looks good. I've got a Sunshine Ligustrum. I've got another little pot from Lowe's. It looked great when I got it. Then it like almost died, and now it's reloaded. It definitely um, likes to be watered a lot. Um, I guess because of the afternoon sun, but it's, it's doing, it's doing well. Um, I've got some queen nectarine in here. This is some more of the rockin' blue suede shoes, salvia, which had really actually struggled, but it seems to be kind of taking off now. I'm trying to feed it once a week, and I think that's helping, because again, it's also in the yuck dirt. Um, and so, it and these pink petunias have responded, but these pretty purple ones sorry my it's hard to see and these little ones um, not so much so well, it's kind of a mystery um, this is going to get potted up um, shortly but for right now it's been fine there uh, my dragon's breath this is the one thing that's done great for me from Lowe's and I, last year I could not find any at Home Depot uh, at any time so, um, Dragon's Breath is one of my very favorites. Um, this has been blooming non-stop. I don't know how much longer it can go. It looks a little faded to me, but again, it's been sunny and hot, so that might be part of it. Um, but it's been, I've not really had to baby it, but it may need more water now that we're back in this horrible uh, heat wave. This was also from Home Depot. I got this. This is some more of those sunflowers I mentioned in the previous video. It looked beautiful when I got it last fall. I've been expecting it to bloom all year. It's not. I don't know why. I didn't cut it back. I didn't do anything. So, uh, I don't know. And I feel like this is possibly a weed that's come up in it. But we'll, I'm going to wait and see before I, if it blooms before I get rid of it. Uh, the Blue Fortune, obviously, is the star of the show here. Um, it was a lot lusher. This has literally been blooming since May. I mean, like non-stop, y'all. Um, and that's through drought, torrents of rain, you know, you name it. Um, Blue Fortune is the man over here. Um, so it's done great. I believe this is some more Tango Hummingbird Mint, which again, normally does better for me. I will say I probably should not have put it with the Blue Fortune. Um, it's kind of overshadowed it. So next year, I think I'll put it on its own. And then this was also um, Lantana from Lowe's. It was in two different um, hanging baskets, and we just took them out and put it in there. Um, and it's starting to thrive, so that's good. Um, as you can see, I've got more planter stuff waiting to be planted. But this little area, and I'm going to kind of scan back. I think next year when we get 
um, you know, the landscape tarp underneath it and, you know, get it mulched and landscaped. I think this is going to look even nicer. Um, and again, I'm probably going to get another, I have another evergreen, I think. I'm going to anchor over here. Maybe not necessarily my Carolina Cypress. I haven't decided yet. Um, but anyway, um, thank you so much for uh, staying and sticking around and enjoying all these videos. Again, you know, if you're somebody like me that you've got, you know, lots of rocks, compacted dirt, and not a humongous budget to have it professionally landscaped, you know, this is a way that you can do it and still enjoy, you know, the beauty of your flowers and shrubs and trees. And um, I, I think this, this ended up being kind of like an organic experiment, and I'm excited to see what I can do with this area for next year. Um, I do have one or two more things I'm adding. They're arriving today, so we'll be planning the next few days. So I'll do another update for you in a couple of weeks. Um, in the meantime, thanks for sticking with us. Have a beautiful day, all and happy gardening.